Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create functions in shell. Creating function and using it, it's very common practice in Unix programming. So if you are writing any <coughs> shell script, so you need to write some function uh, so that your code will be more modular and it can be reused in different shells or shell programs so it's very important to know how to write a function and how to call it you can call the function in your code also in given shell script or you can call outside the script also in today's tutorial mostly we are going to focus on creating function and executing the function in the same script so let's start today's tutorial what is function Functions enable us to break down the overall functionality of a script into smaller and logical subsection. So what it means, it, it is nothing but we have to group a lines of code which are common for given function. For example, adding two integers, it's like addition. So we can create addition as a function by passing some attributes to it so we can use that attributes and do the sum operation so we call it addition similarly you can write your own logical function in your script and that common function can be called at multiple times so you don't have to write code again and again so it is useful for code reusability perspective how to write how to write a function then the syntax of function will look like this you have to write a name function name you can give any name there is no restriction then simple open bracket and close open bracket after that open curly bracket and you can provide the actual commands which you want to execute within that function and at the end you can close the uh, function by using close curly bracket so this is the way we can create a function and for calling function it's very easy you have to just use the function name the function will be automatically get called by the unix shell itself here is a sample in the sample we can see the bin uh, uh, library has declared we have to define a function here message is a function name open and close a simple bracket then open curly bracket and our executable code here the code is simple here we are just doing echo welcome to techno world and co close curly bracket so this is the function actual function and this is the same script shell script here we are going to execute this message command by using just message the message will be called and the corresponding statement will be executed in this case we are doing the echo welcome to techno world if you notice we are not passing any parameter here that's the reason the the open curly bracket and open simple bracket and close simple bracket has no parameter it's called as an invoking function with no parameter on the same line we can create function with parameter it's very easy you can just create the shell script by defining the function you can define you can give any name here we no need to pass the parameters in the bracket even you are going to use it it's very simple you have to use these parameters with dollar sign one dollar sign two and dollar sign three what are the parameters you are pa passing in the command it will pick automatically here we are doing echo echo welcome to techno world dollar one that is means whatever you pass on the parameter one will be picked here learn dollar two whatever the message you're going to send on location two will be picked here and make good dollar three so this is the dollar three symbol where the parameter three will be placed while calling function with parameter you have to pass message then you can give any words space any word space any word the space separator is nothing but the actually distinguishes a new parameter and it will be 
pass at the runtime. So this is a theoretical part. So let's have a demo demo on it. In order to demonstrate this functionality, we have created a no parameter uh, shell script. You can see here we define the function with message, and we are doing echo welcome to techno world, and we are invoking message here message function here by simply writing the message keyword key a word here. let me execute this it's very simple just call sh no param dot sh and we can say clearly welcome to techno world it is called from that function on the same line we wrote uh, with param uh, shell script in this script we wrote the message then we are doing echo welcome to techno world and the dollar one which means it will pass the value raj so it will print welcome to techno world raj comma learn then the second parameter unix it will print unix and make good and the third option career it will print so let's see whether it's going to print correctly or not yes it is it does it prints that's correct message welcome to techno world raj that is first parameter learn unix and make good career so the second and third parameters are passed appropriately if you want to change some values so let's do that i'll just modify instead of Raj, you just pass like Mike and Unix instead of Unix you can mention scripting language language and let's let's try this. I use some special characters like underscore dot and let's see how it works. In order to save you have to use WQ it will be saved you can just verify it's correct you can pass we pass the my scripting language and go these three parameters we pass and let's execute this so it correctly printed it, it prints welcome to techno all my learn scripting language and make good goal so it prints whatever you pass as a parameter there are some special characters such as dollar it is differently so as we know there are some special characters in unix if you use those it is recognized as a internal commands so make sure you are not passing those as a, a parameters otherwise those will be executed as a command i hope this tutorial is going to help you to create functions and use it in in your shell script if you like my video then definitely um, uh, hit the like button you can sh share my video you can subscribe my channel for more interesting updates on unix and other relevant technologies thank you again have a nice time